Hi, Shay de Montfort here. I'm the IMOP candidate for the area of Cooma, which I believe takes in Oxenford, Ormeo, Cooma, Pimpama, and Jacobswell. What an amazing place that we live in. Look at this beautiful place. It's no wonder that this area is the fastest growing city in Australia. People are moving here because it's a wonderful place to raise their children. It's a wonderful natural environment, right? And we can have all sorts of good options for our children. And with the craziness that's happening in the world today, we want to make sure that they have those best healthy options available to them. And that's why uh, the Informed Medical Options Party has been formed. I'm your candidate and I'm going to stand for you and I want to stand for what you want to say. There's so many people out there at the moment afraid that their voice is not being heard in Parliament, that things are going crazy, that they don't want they don't want healthy people locked up when they need to produce value. They do want the vulnerable protected, but not at the cost of the economy. Right? They certainly don't want mandatory vaccinations. When the even the best vaccination trials over in Oxford University have resulted in serious long-term injury from ATM right, that causes spinal inflammation and quadriplegia in, our, in so many people in the vaccine trial tests that they've had to cancel the test trials for the vaccines. Right? And yet our government is financially invested in this and is going to force vaccines on people. We want to have the option to say no. We want to have the option to protect our children and our grandchildren and ourselves. Right? And I want to let you know that I am capable of doing this for you. Few people on my Facebook page know the record that I have with upholding, upholding health um, legislation in Australia. In 1996, myself and the gentleman from Bionic Products got a law reversed that was brought in that said that anything with the word natural in, the, in its advertising or in its name uh, could be termed illegal and people were arrested. You know, the, the lady who was doing the wild, natural wild yam creams um, and our beautiful Ray Thorpe from Happy Higher Herbs, or as they're now known as Happy Healthy Herbs, was arrested. Uh, arrested without appeal. He was placed in a star court. He had no um, access to his lawyers. Right? This is the kind of legislation that's around at the moment and we don't realise it. I've also been able to help with the campaign that battled to get Tangier out of Australia, which was going to open 18 new nuclear waste dumps in Australia and take the to toxic waste from the rest of the world. Um, what else have I done? I've also got a precedence in Sydney Right, against mandatory microchipping right, which can also be used if anybody wants to take it to court um, as a precedence for any form of mandatory medical treatments right, and it has been held up so I'm used to battling these health laws right? I was very tired of battling them all by myself on an individual level and then I was asked if I would like to join this party called Independent Medical Options. And I found in there a group of people who have also individually been upholding these laws, making law changes, protecting our rights, protecting your voice to be heard. And I went, yeah, I'll stand. I've been asked to stand for a lot of political parties, but this is the first time I've actually found one that I believe is ethical and that will listen to you, that doesn't have its own agenda. It has your agenda. All of our doors are open. My door is open. Send me messages about what you want to change if I'm elected as your um, state representative because I want to make sure I bring the action that is needed and I know how to do these actions. My track record proves it. I, I want to make the changes that you need but you're going to have to support me and vote for me so that I can support you so that what's happening in Melbourne doesn't happen in this beautiful place of Coomera. I'm here for you, so vote one for me, Met Informed Medical Options Party at the state elections.